Hello and welcome everyone to our webinar on how to optimize ServiceNow platform license and save cost. The second part of a previous webinar on license optimization, where we demonstrated the usage of our analytics to create reports on ServiceNow licensing, allocation of roles and accesses. Here in the second part, we will be discussing on the actions to be taken after fetching the reports. Fetching reports and analyzing it gets as tedious and taxing as managing the license itself. A one-stop solution could be of great help. Aspire introduces license workbench to control, track accesses and manage licenses for better cost realization and efficiency enhancement. In today's session, we will be covering the following topics to analyze suboptimal usage of ServiceNow instances, to effectively track license usage across enterprise, to review subscription information, and act on analysis by editing and revoking roles and access. I'm Danwanti, a marketing specialist at Aspire Systems, and here let me introduce our speakers of the day. We have Ravi Rajamani, who heads the ServiceNow practice team at SPI Systems. He has demonstrated a history of partnering with enterprise customers across the globe and leveraging ServiceNow platform. Also, we have Jeeva Xavier, who is a ServiceNow solution architect with 10 plus years of experience working in ServiceNow platform. And he's implemented various modules on ITSM, ITOM, ITBM practices, including custom application development. Thank you, Ravi and Jeeva, for taking your time to enable the session. Before I let the speakers take over, let me share a few instructions. During the session, if you have any questions, please type them in the question tab below, and we'll get back to you through email later. Thank you all once again for joining our webinar. With that, I'll let you both take it forward. Thank you very much, Danwanti, and thank you everyone for an another session on license optimization with ServiceNow platform. So as Danwanti introduced, this is now a pressing need for all the platform owners that how we can efficiently optimize licenses and the roles associated with users in the ServiceNow platform. We did our first webinar on this topic covering license optimization uh, with analytics. OK, so coming to the topic or the agenda for this webinar, we would like to go through uh, a brief recap on the license optimization reports, which we presented in our first webinar, and then talk about enhancements to the ServiceNow subscription module, how it can help you to run license optimization better, and then talk about Aspire's license workbench. This is something which is a key topic for this webinar. We wanted to showcase and demo how exactly uh, we have thought through about license workbench in ServiceNow. And to close this, we will talk about some of the gain points, what you can uh, get by implementing Aspire's license workbench. OK, so starting with let's let's try to recap what we did earlier. OK, so we presented a couple of uh, use cases about what exactly we envisioned or what exactly we faced when we worked with different enterprise customers in the market. Right. So we have a typical use case where the licenses are assigned to multiple users and it is not getting tracked on time. So whether we have uh, a role assigned to an ITBM user or a particular department, are we tracking it? Are these roles are utilized by the user more efficiently? OK, so with that idea in mind, we wanted to see whether we can build some analytics around it, right? We need to see what what is the data we can get from ServiceNow to to provide an insight to the platform owner on whether these roles assigned to these users are indeed getting used. OK, so we started with the basic reports, right? So like everyone does, we wanted to know whether these are uh, the uh, users with the roles are uh, logging into the system frequently. Or are they using ServiceNow as a platform on on day to day basis? That's a basic kind of reports which I believe everyone uh, is familiar with. OK, so but we went one step ahead. OK, apart from people logging in or not, even if they have logged in, what's the duration of their session? OK, this gives the platform owner an idea 
what is the duration uh, a user is logging uh, into service now? If we can find a trend around it, can we talk to the user about what are the things which we can provide so that we can reduce the roles assigned to the user, right? I can give you an example, okay? So if a role is assigned to a department who is, which is managing a project, right? Now, someone in the PMO office very rarely logs into service now to download a report or track a status of the project. Do we really need to provide this role to the user or can we facilitate the same report using a scheduling mechanism? Okay, I'm just giving you a use case. Okay, there will be a lot of use cases similar to this, but how do we arrive at the decision? We need to work on the analytics. So we started uh, digging deep into the session times OK, and then we also went into the transaction level. So now as I talked, now user logged into ServiceNow, they have a good session time, but are they using ServiceNow or are the relevant modules assigned to them? OK, so as a fulfiller, I may be having multiple roles. OK, I have an IT IL role and I also may be having a role associated with customer service management, which was assigned to me for a particular reason maybe a couple of months before. But now do I use that customer service role assigned to me is something is a question mark, right? Once the roles is assigned, no one cares about it most of the time. Now how I'm going to track it, we are going to find out the transactions, the number of transactions performed or made against each of these modules for which the role is assigned to a user. So now this analytics gives the platform owner, the user is indeed available, okay, they have good session time, but major, majority of the time they are spending in the IT service management module, but they also hold roles on customer service management or project portfolio management, okay? So is there is a possibility to reduce the roles assigned on the other modules where they don't have any transaction level of data? OK, so you could see that we are getting into more details, but it, in practical, we have seen that it could save cost in the service now licenses and role associated with it. This is a brief recap about what we did in the first webinar. Now in the second, the current webinar, we wanted to focus on how we can utilize this reports OK, to make actions, to perform actions on the reports, right? So now we have the data and I, I should go to a place where I can make some changes to the roles assigned to the users. So the first stop, everyone could realize that the subscription module within ServiceNow is indeed a good place because it gives you about the subscription data. But we also know that it is not a complete uh, developed module, I would say it's not mature enough to give you insights or uh, give you data about the users associated with each of the subscription. Okay, so now I'd be happy to welcome my co-presenter Jeeva to present you about the subscription module and Aspire Workbench. Okay, to talk about a few pointers and also do a demonstration of what we have developed. Jeeva? Thank you for the quick recap, Ravi. Um, before moving on to the actual topic of uh, license workbench, so I'd like to quickly talk about what ServiceNow provides as a solution to manage licenses. We all uh, know about the subscription module, uh, which comes out of box uh, with ServiceNow, uh, where we can see all the uh, license purchased, uh, and we can also manage users. We can also see what are all the roles associated with that. So all those details we can see in the ServiceNow subscription module. Uh, so this is a sample. Uh, it's a demo instance of how the subscription module works. Uh, here you can see the different licenses we purchased and with the start date and when it is going to expire uh, with the number of licenses purchased as well. So going into details, uh, we can see uh, what are all the roles associated with that particular subscription uh, if, if the type of subscription is per user. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you take IT service management professional, we have around 114 roles associated with this particular subscription and we can also see what are all the different applications like uh, incident problem change, asset management, what are all the different applications uh, that are subscribed uh, with this particular subscription. 
and we can also maintain the subscribed users uh, who are all subscribed to this particular subscription uh, through which we can see how many licenses we purchased versus the number of licenses allocated and we can easily see the compliance status whether we are compliant or non-compliant but the drawback here is uh, this is not automatic though we have all the details inside service now uh, the subscribed users list is not calculated automatically we need to either manually add the subscribed users or we need to use the service now user set functionality uh, where we have two options uh, either we can add filters from user table or we can use group uh, where we can fetch users group members from a group and add it to the uh, subscription user list so these are the two options available uh, but this is not an auto calculated one so to overcome this uh, pain point and by combining uh, our license optimization future so we came up with an idea of having a workbench uh, where we can uh, see all the subscription uh, related details and we can also take action against this like against it like we can remove uh, a particular user from the subscription or we can add a user uh, we can also see whether the user is uh, effectively using their license or not uh, by combining the uh, service now uh, license optimization dashboard into the license workbench so so this is uh, a quick uh, overview of how ServiceNow license workbench will look like. Uh, this is a home page where we can see uh, all the subscriptions. This is not this is the same as what we are seeing in the ServiceNow subscription management module, uh, but uh, uh, with the more graphical uh, uh, UI. Uh, we can see what are all the different licenses we purchased and how many uh, how many. Uh, license we purchased against the subscription and how many allocated and whether we are compliant or not. So clicking on to view details, uh, we can see uh, the same details what we are seeing in the subscription management, like what are the different applications we are subscribed to and what are the roles associated uh, with this particular uh, subscription. And we can also take ag action against this, uh, for example, uh, how many users are allocated to this particular role so we can see that and we can take action whether uh, this user really requires this role or not uh, the plan is to also have uh, the license optimization uh, dashboard uh, uh, added to this particular functionality but that is still in progress and we can also see what are all the subscribed users? And this is again the same list what we are seeing in uh, subscription management module. And this one is a new one, unmapped user. So uh, I I told that, right, we have a, a, a drawback like uh, the subscription management doesn't auto calculate uh, the subscribed users. But here uh, we, we do that calculation uh, based on the associated roles and user who have that roles. So we are automatically calculating uh, the list of users, but we are not directly add a, added it to the uh, subscribed user list. So it will come as an unmapped user uh, where you can take a decision whether uh, this user is really need the subscription or not. And then you can easily uh, map this particular user so that they will be they will come under the subscribed user list and it will be reflected in the uh, uh, home page as well. So for this demonstration, I'm going to quickly uh, add a set of users uh, to this particular subscription and see how that uh, get reflected in the uh, license work page. So we currently we have only two users uh, under this particular role of road user. So I'm going to add uh, three more users to this particular role. <clears throat> so, so you can see this uh, gets reflected uh, in the license workbench module if you go into the details. 
So you can see all those three users will come under the unmapped user list and you can decide whether to remove this particular user or uh, to add it to the subscribed user list. And again, it will get reflected in the uh, home page. So that's all uh, uh, we have about license workbench. Ravi. Thank you, uh, Jiva, for the demonstration. So uh, for everyone, our objective is to bring in both the analytics and the actionable items in one page. OK, that, that's our end result we are looking forward. So as a, as, a, as a pit stop, I would say we are now in a place where we have enhanced the subscription module. Our next idea is to bring in the analytical part, which we developed as part of uh, license optimization reports. OK, so now the platform owner should be able to act on the reports what we generated in the license workbench. So what are the gain points out of this? So first gain point, I would say that the effective uh, optimization, or we would say that uh, how the licenses or the roles are assigned to every individual within the organization and how it is uh, how it is getting tracked and managed. OK, so now the optimization reports and the workbench is one stop solution for you to really understand through analytics and then perform actions around it. OK, at the calculations which we have performed uh, to, to come up with the compliant compliance report on the service now licenses and the workbench, the concept of uh, coming up with a workbench made things easy for many of our platform owners. OK, so this is our uh, gain points and we continue to enhance these features uh, moving forward. If you have any ideas, if you have any comments, we would be happy to welcome. Please do share your feedback as well. Tanvanti. Thank you, Ravi and Jiva, for such an insightful session on License Workbench. Uh, before we conclude, let me give you a brief overview of our company. Aspire Systems is a global IT services company with more than 3,000 plus employees and 150 plus active customers. We have successfully completed over 100 projects and offer enhancement and support managed services to our customers post implementation. As a premier service now partner, our core expertise in it includes ITSM, ITOM, SecOps, DevOps, PPM, HR, and so on. We also have our expertise on service, software engineering, digital services, independent testing, infrastructure, application support, integration, and Oracle ERP implementation. We are CMMI Level 3 certified and ISO 27001 certified. We have one great place to work institute and blessed best place to work award for the 11th consecutive time. For further inquiry, please contact us at info at .com. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you for attending the webinar. Have a great day.